Kamusta there guys, what is up? It is the Draxix dude here. And before we get into the, today's video, I do want to talk about this freaking PS4. I'm telling you, the PS4 Pro is freaking loud, man. I don't I don't I'm actually surprised that the thing hasn't actually, you know, been caught on the microphone with it just breathing heavy. It's like an older dude. You know, a 60-year-old that just ran like a block. It's I'm telling you, I don't know if it's my PlayStation, but I keep mine pristine. I'd imagine how bad a, you know, a, a poorly managed PlayStation would act like. But let's get into the topic of today's video. <laughs> you know, sometimes I absolutely love the community. They, you know what, I'll, I'll even say it. The backlash against microtransactions and the force change in Black Ops 4 was great, but it was after the, you know, the life cycle of the game and it doesn't even matter. But what confuses me about this fan base is you see these tons and tons of videos about skill-based matchmaking. Yet I don't know if any of these people actually believe what they're saying. I feel like they're just, you know, hopping on a trend. I would even say it's just blind hatred. And you know what? I've say I've seen a lot of fan bases, especially the Battlefield fan base for Battlefield 5 specifically, and don't get me wrong, I have my problems with that game too. I have problems with skill-based matchmaking. I have problems with modern warfare. But when you're talking about these games being one of the at least I mean, what the worst Call of Duty in history, I've seen multiple people just talk shit about this game because of skill-based matchmaking and people don't like Ghost. Just mechanics that they don't enjoy in a video game and they are complaining as if this game is just horrible and nobody should play it. It just baffles me how crazy people talk about this game. When you're just playing the game and just having fun, isn't that supposed to be the point? And don't get me wrong, these guys who keep commenting about all these problems with the game and not and I'm not saying that these guys specifically have all the issues with the game, but these are the guys who are putting like 600, 700 hours in a in a, in a year of COD. I can't put that much into a COD game. I can't put that much into any single game. I can barely play more than two hours of video games before getting bored. And that's just over every game, you know. Maybe it's just because, you know, the content just isn't as good as it used to be. But it's just maybe it's, maybe it's because I was, you know, maybe I'm getting more sophisticated. I don't know. I can't do the blind same thing over and over again. That's why I use multiple guns. That's why I'm ranking up every single gun. And I get it. You have to, get, you have to rank it all up to get to Damascus anyway. But I'm just trying to figure out ways to use certain weapons and I'm trying to create new strategies, new methods of getting kills. And yes, I have M4 gameplay in the background, okay? This is old stuff. I haven't made new gameplay in a decent bit, okay? So chill out. I'm gonna get some new gameplay soon, but I mean you've guys seen this clip a couple times I'm sure if you guys watch my videos for the last couple months. You guys have seen this clip. I enjoy playing the game. I just don't enjoy putting the recording equipment together because it takes forever. And I don't like doing that. That's not fun. But just just being able to hop into a game. There's no, there's no other franchise that delivers like Call of Duty. Especially when it comes to this game. And yes, it's boring. Okay? You don't have to play six hours to understand that you know playing the same thing over and over again is boring okay you know you're doing the same things you're using the m4 you're using the mp5 and you're blaming everything on skill-based matchmaking as if skill-based matchmaking is making you go try hard number one before anybody mentions it but when you are a good player in call of duty you should face other good players it's not hard i mean Duh, you're gonna want to face good players. Okay, that's that's an obvious. You want to get better, I would imagine, 
you know, being able to play Call of Duty like this, you want to be able to get better, right? But the problem is, is people don't understand that there's a there's a theory, okay? People don't like to get shit on, okay? I'm not gonna go into all. Oh, it's like it's it's for new players. Skill-based matchmaking is not for new players. No, it's for those core players that enjoy playing Call of Duty and not having to sweat and try hard. You see what I'm getting at here? When you're try harding into a lobby full of you know casual players, do they do they are they having fun? Nobody ever cares about what, you know, if they're having fun. You only care about if you're having fun, right? But you see, here's the problem. When they get shit, when people get shit on, they don't play the game. They don't want to play the game anymore. Why would they? You know? I mean, you guys aren't. Yeah. I mean, I see it all the time. You know, whenever you get shit on in a Call of Duty match, you're just like, well, this game has skill-based matchmaking and I can't win. Well, you're telling the new people to adapt and overcome, but what are you exactly doing? It sounds like you're just bitching because you can't figure out how to overcome a better player. And I get it, you know, balance is a lot of a lot of things. You can use the M4 and you have to use the M4 if you're playing against sweats, right? I mean, yeah, of course. I can understand that aspect of it. They, they need to fix it, okay? I understand that they need to fix it, but taking it away is, is dumb. That's just a dumb theory. That's just a dumb idea. Just taking away the idea, just the chance that these that these guys who are just trying to have fun use pretty mediocre classes to you know rank up their guns. You know they want to play with you know other mediocre players. Let them. The idea is when you play the game you have fun it's supposed to be a challenge it's not supposed to be a you know 60 to nothing brawl for you okay and i'm sure you guys understand that but you still make the people i wouldn't even say you i don't know anybody that should be making these videos about skill-based matchmaking when they don't understand the concept of it and they don't understand why it's implemented and yes, the developers have said some stupid things, but the overall concept still remains. Okay, you don't need to, you don't need to, you know, stream snipe a developer's comments like you do for everything else. You see, you hear one thing and then you morph it into something else. That's what the that's what the media does. Okay, that that's for anything, games, politics, religion. They're gonna morph whatever you say into their own opinion and make it sound like they're smarter. That's just how life works. And I don't need to talk down to you. You guys already know this. But you gotta think before you speak. If you guys enjoyed this content, please hit the like button. As I, uh, I always try to be real with you guys. And no, I'm not one of those YouTube commentators that acts like they're real but when they're real they're saying everything else that everybody else is saying yes i can say what i believe and if it's the same as everybody else's i can understand that but when you completely disregard your own opinions because well it's not a popular thing to say and it's just going to get you hate in the community then that's what my problem is with the call of duty youtubers just youtubers in general is that nobody cares about saying the right thing or doing the right thing. They all just want to chase views and chase subscribers and kiss everybody's ass while doing the same thing. And yes, and I'm sure I'm, I'm going to say a bunch of stupid shit over the years. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be wrong, okay? That's just human nature. But I'm not going to not going to not say anything because I'm afraid that it will, I don't know, offend somebody or... Somebody will just not like what I say because I prefer to be real with my audience and not the, not the fake real that everybody talks about where they just come where they just say the same thing over again over and over again just to pander to you people to act like they're superior and be like I'm saying what you're saying because I'm a people person I'm not a people person I don't wear a white hat I'm kind of a jerk so I'm going to say this right here. I hope everybody has a wonderful day.
from the bottom of my heart, seriously. Just overthink what you're doing. It's not it's not gonna hurt you. Just think before you say. Tell me what you guys think here in the comments section down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later.